Welcome to the latest anime news for the week ending May 18th, 2018. I love starting with new anime announcements, and we have got a couple. The manga Meshi Numa, Meshi Numa, will be getting an anime adaptation in just a couple of weeks by the end of May. The story of an ordinary Japanese salaryman who only appears ecstatic when he's eating, a concept you may recognize from an anime earlier this year, will get a short anime adaptation on the new Anime Beans app. Now, Anime Beans features both regular TV anime and short anime formatted vertically, as in like portrait mode. And when I say short, I'm talking 10 episodes, each lasting only about three minutes long. And unfortunately, I'm sure it'll be Japanese only. Still cool, not complaining. You know, one of those things where, okay, whatever. Um, separately, Bang Dream, an anime about an all-girl band, will be officially getting a second season and a third, according to its Twitter account. They'll also be expanding the franchise into the Vibe Schwartz card game, I think I'm pronouncing that right, and Ogenki Music Arcade games, among others. Looks like this particular franchise is heating up, so get into that if you're interested. Yamato is also heating up with the Star Blazers Space Battleship Yamato 2022 films receiving a TV anime adaptation premiering in Japan this fall. And apparently they won't just cut up the movies into TV episodes. There are seven movies, by the way. The show has a new staff, including director Nobuyushi Habara of Fafner and Star Blazers 2199, with scripts supervised by Harutoshi Fukui, who wrote the original Gundam Unicorn novels and the screenplay for the latest Harlock CGI film. So pretty interesting there. Uh, we'll see where that ends up. Those interested in Mari Okada's latest film, called Makwaya, I think I'm pronouncing that right, When the Promised Flower Blooms, can now check out an English-translated trailer, thanks to Anime Limited. So just go and Google that. You'll be able to find it. Again, Anime Limited. Makwaya. Uh, meanwhile, the gritty period story Golden Kamui will be getting a special anime episode bundled with volume 15 of the manga when it releases in Japan this September. Uh, this new anime will animate the manga's Barato arc, which follows a conflict between a sniper and the Shinsen Gumi member Toshizo Hijikata. Kind of exciting there. Um, so separate from the TV show that is currently airing. Moving on, um, I don't normally talk about... Ah, that's a spoiler. Oh, well. I don't really normally talk about Japanese TV rankings, but this week I looked and I just had to note something. Of the 10 anime with the highest viewership... Only two started this season. One of them is Yokai Watch, and the other is the new 2018 Gegege no Kitaro anime. That's right. All the others are either hugely long running shows like One Piece or Sazai san or Jubi Maruko chan or whatever. So maybe it's time to give Kitaro a try. Who knows? Finally, this is going to hurt, but we have to get through it. Studio Ghibli held their farewell ceremony for Isao Takahata on Tuesday at the Ghibli Museum. Hayao Miyazaki and Toshio Suzuki, among others, offered their own eulogies and memories of their time together over the course of decades, Miyazaki explaining the origin of Takahata's nickname Pakusan. Gundam creator Yoshiyuki Tomino and legendary animators Yatsuo Otsuka and Yuichi Kotabe were also in attendance along with numerous others in the film industry. Afterwards, the Ghibli Museum opened its doors to the general public for three hours, where they showed a special retrospective of books dedicated to Takahata, farewell tributes from around the world, and photographs of the legendary creators and director's life. A fitting memorial for a man who operated at the pinnacle of the animator's art. 